cross stitching runner and welcome to my channel i want to say a big hello and welcome to all new and returning viewers and if by chance you've stumbled across this channel this channel is all about cross stitch with a bit of life stuff thrown in and since we last caught up there's been a lot of life stuff going on in behind the scenes and I feel disappointed that I don't have as many projects to share with you. That said, I do have, I have made progress on the projects that I do have to share with you. So I really hope that you can see some difference in the projects that I've worked on between last time we caught up and now. So fingers crossed and let's get into it. First piece I have to share with you is Dewdrop Daisy. It's a whole cross stitching design, and this is I guess what roughly what it'll look like when it's done. And it's available for purchase on my Etsy store and my main website, both called Hot Cross Stitching. I'll put the details of both locations, both websites, Etsy store. In the description box below, you'll be able to purchase either the physical or digital uh, download. And also, depending on the physical purchase, you might also be able to have in conjunction with the pattern uh, a project bag that, that goes with it as well. So that way, if you do choose to, to work on Dewdrop Daisy, you'll have a, a customized bag to some extent, <laughs> a, a cool bag to go with that. So let's see what I've done. So this is where I'm at for Dewdrop Daisy and I'm really jazzed about this project because I am starting to see the finish line for this because I guess I'm, I'm in the last, last quarter of the project and I've moved over to the side here where you can see me jiggling the, the fabric a bit. To, to work on the petals on that side a bit more and bring bring it down so that the the petals are a bit more even uh, with the stitching that I'm doing and I haven't kept official track of how many stitches I've done between now and the last time that we caught up I do know that it's been several hundred stitches that have been put in meaning that I have well under 15,000 uh, getting closer to the 14,000 mark for the amount of stitches that I have left and noting that 14,000 is still a lot of stitches. Also noting that there's a bit over 60,000 stitches in this project. So the, the 14,000 stitches is an achievable amount for me to get this project done by the end of next year hopefully if all all goes well this time next. summer in stars hollow is another piece that has seen some love since we last caught up and i don't have a cover picture to share with you at the moment because this particular piece i'm using pattern keeper and the the cover page hasn't shown up for me as well as i'd like in the, in the app so I don't want to risk sharing or showing the pattern too much and in my editing stage if I do find a cover picture that does the piece justice I'll hopefully be able to insert it and you'll get to see what I'm talking about when the the project is finished so this is where I'm at so far and my focus has been around the roof of the Gilmore Girls house and especially working on this light teal colours as well. There's a lot of it and that's what I like about some of the projects where when you're working on some solid colours that appear a lot throughout a project, it just it feels like You've achieved a lot and this particular pattern is by the Black Needle Society and it had been included in the Summer and Stars Hollow stitching box that was what was probably the most recent box that 
we worked on because being here in Australia, different different seasons. And I remember being slightly rugged up and working on on the piece. Anyway, memories, it's all good. The aim though is that I would like to see a bit more work done on this and now that we're getting closer to December, I know that I'll be wanting to work on some Christmas themed pieces and it'll also be summer here in Australia. So it'll be interesting to see what pieces I do end up including in the decision maker app for which projects I'm going to be working on. Fingers crossed, it all works out well. Now, speaking of Stars Hollow and the Black Needle Society, the next piece that I have done a bit more work on is the spring in Stars Hollow. And this is roughly what it'll look like when it's done. And I've been doing a lot of personalizations with this piece because I can but also because I'm wanting to use some threads that I have in my stash that I think can, could go well with the piece and it's to balance out some of the threads that I don't necessarily have in the collection or my stash. So this is where I'm at so far and I love that I've got a lot of the veranda white work done for the dragonfly in and that we can really start to see Suki coming together and the what we're seeing here is actually the dragonfly and that's one of the more obvious personalizations that I've done with this chart because I think a few a few boxes boxes ago it might have been in the summer in stars hollow box Colour and Cotton had worked with Black Needle Society to have Ice Cream Queen uh, as one of the specialty threads being in the box. And I love the colours that are in this piece or the variegated thread. And I've really wanted to try and incorporate that colour or that variegated thread into one of the pieces and this is where I thought that with Spring and Stars Hollow and with all of the really awesome pastel colours that are in this chart I thought it'd be perfect and with dragonflies especially with their wings I know that they've they've got some colour that in their wings that can shimmer a little bit depending on which way the light hits and so my justification is like, hey, why why stick to just the the wings being all pretty and zhuzhed up? Let's do the entire dragonfly in Ice Cream Queen. So fingers crossed, all goes well, and I'm looking forward to, to really seeing how this entire piece works out. With all of that in mind, that's all I have as far as stitching is concerned, and I've been trying to work through this particular episode semi-quickly because today is the 19th of November and it's my boyfriend's birthday. So we're down here at Malur Bay. We're able to chill, relax, enjoy our time here. And what we're aiming to do in about 20 minutes is to head into Batemans Bay where there's this really cool show and shine vehicles happening um from what i've seen on the internet and a little bit of the the different cars that have been driving around here it's cars motorbikes utes uh, i think those three types of vehicles at least that are from the 1950s 1960s era and from what I can tell on the website, there might be some vehicles either sides of those decades as well. And Michael's really keen, especially to go and see it. I know I'm I'm keen to, to check it all out and just sort of see what what's about because as much as I'm a bit with vehicles, 
it's, it's that appreciation of the time and effort that people have put into their their vehicles and their love to uh, restore the vehicles, keep them in this really pristine, um, yeah, I guess pristine condition and just, yeah, really appreciating what they've done and that they're they're proud of these vehicles as well so that that's going to be be really cool and we'll get to, to go out and have some lunch and just enjoy each other's company so with that said i'm going to love you and leave you here and i hope that in two weeks time i will have a lot more to share with you stitching wise and by that stage, we'll potentially be getting super, super close to December. I did say, I was going to say Christmas, wait, no, Easter, wait, what time of year is it? It's been a little bit that way with my headspace quite recently. There's been lots going on. I will stop rambling and I hope you all have an awesome stitching time and I'll see you later. Thank you.